The Bible says that you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. This is an inspiration message brought to you by Jesus Shetter YouTube channel and as inspired by Jesus Spirit. This word of God of this time, this hour is about the battle of the quarry, the battle of the quarry, or oh, the battle of the lights, lights, oh, there it. When the lights come on you, there is a battle. The enemy wage war against anybody with the light of God. When you are calling, when you are called for ministry, when you are anointed one to preach and tell people about Jesus and show people direction. You know, as you know in every kingdom, when there is war, the enemy or the people fighting, they focus on the ringleader. When there is gorilla war, they focus the leader of the gorilla. When there is rebel, they focus the leader of the rebellion. rebellion. When there is a war between nations, they focus on the, the biggest, the leader of the war. So when you are anointed and called by God as the leader of the people, as Moses was, as Daniel was, as Joseph was in the Bible, as Joshua was in the Bible, as Paul the Apostle was in the Bible, the battle of the enemy will start to discourage. Remember, the Bible says, and we started by saying that, you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. It's when you know why, 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 why am I going what I'm going through, it is because of the light that came upon you. It's because you have been appointed to be the light of the people. It's because you have been appointed to show people the directions, to show people the way. The, that's why the war, just Job was anointed one, an upright man of God. But the enemy waged war and destroyed everything Job had just to discourage Job. Remember, this is the battle of the enemy. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Knowing the enemy and how he works will enable you to win every battle against him. We are not supposed to give up as Job wife was telling her husband that let's give up, let's leave God because of what the enemy was doing to discourage them. We are supposed to continue with the battle. It is when the Holy Spirit came in the Bible. It's when the Holy Spirit came in the book of Acts of Apostles. It is when they started putting them in prison every now and then. Peter, Paul, and all disciples. When the promise of God come upon you, the enemy will start attacking and waging war against you to discourage for you not to see the anointing coming on you, but focus onto the enemy uh, arrows and warfare. The Holy Spirit was promised by Jesus. But when the Holy Spirit came and they started to minister, the battle began and the disciples were being put to jail every now and then. And they were told, you are preaching things we are not used to. What you are saying is not is against our catch and tradition. So in this case, we are going to put you in prison. You are being put in prison. But God will miraculously deliver them from the prison. When Joseph was called to ministry, when he was started dreaming, he was sold to be a slave forever in Egypt. But God delivered him later. It is when children of Israel were crossing over the Red Sea, the enemy was pouncing to return them back. It is when Jesus had remained three days to be the King of Kings and Lord of Lords that the attack was so great. It was greater. The attack on Jesus when Jesus was remaining three days to be the King of all King and King of and God of all God. And Jesus in Matthew 27 was almost giving up and saying, God, remove this cup. If it's possible, God, if it's your will, remove this cup. If it's not your will, let me go through it. But if it's possible, remove it. It's painful. It is very painful. Three days during Jesus' crucifixion and arrest and death of Jesus, that time Jesus was almost giving up. The enemy was attacking most. 
and Jesus said, you know what? They were saying many things against Jesus. Remember when the anointing of God come upon you, you'll be told you are like this, you are like this. You'll be given names that doesn't belong to you. Jesus was given a name that did not belong to him to discourage him. But Jesus kept quiet, knowing the mission ahead, the Bible says. In the book of um, uh, Hebrews 12, verse 2 to 3, knowing the mission ahead, knowing the victory ahead, knowing the glory ahead, the future glory that he is about to get, he persevered the attack of the enemy and he persevered to the point that he won the battle in the resurrection. When you read Matthew 28, resurrection, this was seeing victory and he was crowned to be the king of kings. Lord of all Lord. So we must not get discouraged by the attack of the enemy when the God is using us for his work and when you are called to ministry. You shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. We must keep steering, living holy life and doing the work of God. Using our calling. If you are called to be a pastor, if you are called to be a teacher, if you are called to be a singer, if you are called to be an encourager, if you are called to be an apostle, if you are called to be an, um, a motivational speaker, if you are called, whatever you are called for in the ministry of God, uh, you should not give up. And also living holy life. We must not leave God because of the attack of the enemy. We must not leave our Jesus. We must continue with our Jesus, no matter the attack of the enemy. The enemy must not uh, discourage us by his attack. We must continue with um, worshiping Jesus, we must continue living holy life and walking with the spirit, the arms and ammunition of God, knowing that it is living a holy life that will steer us to victory. The Bible says that he who endures to the very end will be saved. May he us endure to the very end so we may be saved. And we must not let anyone take our crown. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 3, verse uh verse 11 to 12 that we must not let anyone including the enemy the devil to take our crown we must safeguard our crown we must safeguard our core we must safeguard our crown we must safeguard our core may you be blessed as you purpose to safeguard your calling and stay and remain holy so you can be counted worthy to enter the kingdom and you must not give up because of the calling that came upon you, because of the light that came upon you, because of the anointing of God that came upon you, because of the leadership you have been called to be a reader in the kingdom of God. Remember the readers of Ammon in the Bible. If you are called to be a reader like Moses, like Joshua, to be a steer, a steer, a mantle bearer of a ministry of, of, of a certain uh, religious organization, of, 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 of telling people the truth, the word of God, showing them the direction. You should not give up because of the attack that are coming, because of the, uh, the restoration of power and guidance and, and, and anointing and, 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 uh, and uh, an anointing oil that came upon you. You must not give up. We must keep knowing the truth. And so you are free from being dethroned or removed the crown of, of leadership and holiness that God brought to us a living holy life. May you be blessed as you purpose to stay in the, in the causeway of heaven. Hallelujah.